Hey guys, sorry, my like cat is off the corner of the video. You would kind of help me teach my articles? You would help me teach? No? Yes? No? Say hi. He's like, no, I don't want to help you teach anything. All right, hi, welcome. Let's do a conclusion paragraph. How's that sound? Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you have your introduction paragraph done from yesterday. If you don't, make sure you do that one first. Um, we are going to do the conclusion today. We're going to finish up our vending machine articles, or almost at least. We'll completely finish them tomorrow when you type them out. Um, but today we are going to write the conclusion paragraph, starting with our information at the top of our page. So I have the title. I have my name. And I have my cool and my cat's hair is literally everywhere now. That's cool. All right, moving on. Uh, argument has already been circled. We have that done. So conclusion paragraphs have three parts. We have the restate, the overview, and the concluding thought. Remember, it's rock, R-O-C. So we're going to start with our restating our position statement. So I'm actually going to hop back here real quick and look at our introduction. Okay. And for our introduction, our position statement was, I agree with the argument that vending machines should be allowed in schools. So what we need to do is we need to restate that. We need to reword it um, so that we're talking about vending machines being good for schools. Okay, I think I'm going to use the word benefits. Um, I'm going to say, and benefits are positive things. I'm going to say there are, um, let's do several benefits to installing vending machines at our schools. Okay, um, there are several benefits. Well, you know, looking at this now, we aren't talking about the argument at all. Um, so let's say, um, let's change a little bit and say, um, I agree with the argument that there are, se th that there are several benefits to installing vending machines in our schools. Okay, so we took a, we talked about I agree still with the argument. So we're talking about the argument and how we agree with it. Um, and then we talked about how there are several benefits to installing vending machines in our schools. We just took that position statement from our introduction and we reworded it. We're reminding our reader of what we're talking about or have been talking about. Okay. The O. Now, remember when we did this for government essays, we talked about how you needed to have a sentence for every body paragraph in this O section, this overview summary section. Well, we only have one body paragraph, so we only need one sentence for our overview slash summary. So we need to summarize what we talked about in that paragraph, and I think the best way to do it is to kind of almost write like a specific topic sentence um, where we list those reasons again. And I know it feels really repetitive, but at this level in the game, um, we're just gonna kind of repeat ourselves over and over again. When you get into seventh, eighth grade in high school, um, you will have to get a little bit more creative. But for right now, just as we're learning, we're gonna repeat ourselves. Okay, so let's see. We talked about, um, I think I'm going to use the word benefits again. The benefits for having vending machines include, and I'm going to list my three reasons again. Okay, so my first reason was about raising money. Um, include raising money for school... Uh, let's just call them activities. Um, raising money for school activities. Um, giving 
are students healthy options for snacks? And the last one was about protecting our students, keeping them safe. Um, and protecting our students. We'll just repeat students and adults. Um, you could use a different word for students. You could use like pupil, but I don't really like the word pupil. I think it's weird. Um, you could say kids. Um, let's let me change it. Uh, and let's just say protecting our children instead of students. That way we're not repeating the stu word students again. I feel like we use that word a lot. Okay, there are, the benefits for having vending machines include raising money for school activities, giving our students healthy options for snacks, and protecting our children. Now, that sentence, you could break it up into two or three even if you wanted to. We combine it all into one. You don't have to do it that way. Okay. Last part here is our concluding thought. This is, I think, the toughest part because you want to leave your reader with something. Something to think about, whether it's like an interesting or like a fact of some kind. Um, just some sort of like thought that like leaves your reader thinking like, hmm, that was good. Or, hmm, I should consider doing that. Especially for position or for argument essays. You want it to go along with your position statement and you really kind of want to drive it home. So let's see. Um, let's talk about, let's talk about how vending machines can like make education better, right? Or make like the experience of school better. Um, let's say adding vending machines will make schools or make our school uh no let's just say it will make school we'll make school a better place and experience for our kids okay I'm going to move myself down here a little bit so I can zoom out and we can read the entire thing together. Okay. I agree with the argument that there are several benefits to installing vending machines in our schools. The benefits for having vending machines include raising money for school activities, giving our students healthy options for snacks, and protecting our children. Adding vending machines will make school a better place and experience for our kids. I think the only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to take out the word vending machines here. Um, I'm just going to put the benefits include. <clears throat> the benefits include raising money for school activities, giving, giving our children or students healthy options for snacks, and protecting our children. That way we're not using the word vending machines in every single sentence. Otherwise it just seems like too, too much. All right, that is it. We are done. Make sure that you have all three paragraphs done for this essay. Tomorrow you're going to be typing out the essay. So make sure you have all the pieces done. If you are missing a piece, you're going to lose points. And I'll explain all of that tomorrow when you start typing, okay? If you have questions, drop a comment on Google Classroom or shoot us an email. Good luck, guys.